I think often when we're used to hearing defenses of free speech, it's about the importance of personal expression, um, a, a sort of idea that, that the speaker being able to say their own ideas matters for its own sake. But for me, there's a more fundamental question, especially at this moment, and that's the idea that free speech really is a fundamental right in democracy, at least as important as voting rights, as essential as they are. And I sort of take my cues in many ways from Alexander Mickeljohn, who one of the things that this new volume that you mentioned does is publish for the first time in decades, I think, in a, in a kind of cheap volume, uh, Mickeljohn's argument about free speech and self-government. And so the, the argument that I begin with is that, you know, we can't imagine um, a democratic society in which we're limited in what we're able to say about politics. So Mickeljohn gives this famous metaphor of the town meeting, and he says, uh, you know, imagine, I'll give my spin on it. Imagine, this isn't exactly his example, but it's mine. Imagine that in a town meeting, we're debating, do we build a bridge on the north side of town or the south side of town? And the moderator starts to say, you know what, I think the south side of town argument is really stupid. It's a bridge to nowhere. Uh, nobody could possibly defend that. And instead of just opining, actually cuts off debate from people who want to speak in favor of this bad position. Now, it's sort of a trivial example, but we could replace it with much more fundamental ones. And to my mind, what he's really teaching us through that example, through the metaphor of a town meeting for democracy writ large, is that free speech matters not just for personal expression, but because you have to not only be able to make, but to be able to listen to hear arguments in democracy from all viewpoints. So for me, especially at this point, that, that's my starting point now. You know, in other work and more academic work, I deal with complications that come from that starting point, like questions of hate speech, questions of speech that would undermine democracy. But I think when it comes to your, your, your first question about the fundamental value, it's really democracy.